Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. I also own a booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan, and I have a whole bunch of videos here to help other booth owners. I don't know about you, but it's really hard to stay motivated and inspired with your booth. It's a lot of work, right? Redoing the booth, coming up with booth designs, and sometimes you kind of feel burned out. When that hits, I like to go on a little mini trip to a really cool antique mall. And so this video, although I'm going to show you a great antique mall located in Clinton, Michigan called Vintage 12 Market, this isn't really me going antique shopping. Instead, I am shopping for inspiration. And the booth owners at this antique mall in Clinton did not disappoint. I just want to give a big shout out. I don't know any of them personally, but you guys are rocking it. There was beautiful displays and lots of good inspiration. And hopefully we can all learn from it and get a little inspired. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you just like antiquing, maybe it'll inspire you to take a trip to Clinton, Michigan. It was a beautiful day and it was the perfect day to hit the road to visit an antique mall for a little inspiration. I was heading just a little southwest of Detroit to Clinton, Michigan to visit an antique mall called the US 12 Vintage Market. And I love an antique mall with a front porch filled of treasures. It immediately gets you starting to look for that special find. They also did a great job in just displaying the items. A lot of times I go to antique malls and things are just kind of thrown about. But here, there was definite thought and placement to all items. And there were some good treasures, including these corbels. Are you enjoying this video? If so, please take a second to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. It really helps me to continue to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. As you enter the store, you are greeted with a beautiful display. This store does have antiques and home goods and salvage and so many other good treasures. But what I really liked is I was reminded of some of the basics of design. One easy design tip is color or theme. You're just starting out with your booth. Think about certain colors in one area. In the front of the store, there were a lot of wood tones and greens and creams and whites, and it really brought the space together. See the green color throughout this booth by putting all of those shutters together. It really makes a statement. A lot of people might kind of put them all over the space, but grouping them together and having the cover on the bed match really brought this simple space together. Another thing to consider is themes. Grouping like objects together like these kitty cats or this blue glassware really makes a statement. Even putting all the birds in one area helps people to find what they're looking for and make your space look organized. To get more interest in your booth, you might want to think about hanging unexpected items. This mall had so many great things hung from the ceiling like this door and this garden gate And even this window, which not only was visually interesting, but it allowed the dealer to hang a lot more items for sale in their booth. And if you look behind this window, you will see ceiling tiles, which are hung. This was not on a wall, they're hung from the ceiling by chains, and this was a pattern throughout the store. And I really think it makes it look just a little extra special.
Hanging items can also help with your lighting. Remember, good lighting is essential to having a good booth space. Anywhere you can get extra lighting is beneficial. I really like both of these bed springs hung from the ceiling with Christmas lights. What a simple solution to get some interest and to get some extra light into the space. Another great thing to hang in your booth space are shelves. And if you haven't taken advantage of putting shelves higher up in your booth, you really need to do so. There's a lot of great creative ways to do this. I love the plumbing hardware used in this booth. In fact, I have used it in my own home for shelving. The pipe pieces can be a little pricey, but I really think the final look is totally worth it. Adding shelves to your booth space will allow you to put so many more items in your booth and make them really visually appealing. And don't forget about hanging things that are a little unexpected like this chair. If you have a small booth space, that might be a good solution to get things up off the floor and at eye level. I also like to see the use of this lattice. This is a great and fairly inexpensive way to put walls up in your booth that are really easy to hang objects on. And of course, you can paint the lattice too if you prefer. As I continued to walk through the entire antique mall, I continued to be reminded of just ideas of beautiful display. Putting things on angles, using color, using light, adding height, layering objects, the concept of the triangle or pyramid design. The dealers at this antique mall really outdid themselves and it showed. One final point and good reminder is you always need to find that price tag. And I was really struck by these old barnwood boards. Sometimes putting price tags on these are so difficult and they come off and you gotta put tape. What an ingenious idea. And the little thumbtacks also drew attention to where the price tag was located. Make sure in your booth your price tags are easy to find and easy to read. It was time to get back on the road, but I really had a wonderful time visiting the US 12 Vintage Market in Clinton. It's also a really relaxing drive with lots of old barns, and it's a good, nice little break from your day. Well, what did you think of that antique shop? Weren't there so many great ideas? I hope you can use some of these to inspire you in your own booth display. I also have a whole bunch of playlists about me visiting other antique shops. In fact, I'll put a link to one right here so you can check it out if you want to get more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.